before I came here, I was uh, working in the regular school. And um, after 10 years, I decided that I don't want to teach anymore. I don't want to be, to see any school anymore. And I just uh, quit teaching. And after a year that I was at home doing nice things for my house, uh, I found um, a small advertising that a democratic school in Hadera wants a teacher, math teacher. And I came and I saw all those uh, old houses and, <laughs> and I said, oh, it's a school? Okay, I'll try. Uh, and I'm here since there, since uh, then, and I love it. I, it's, it's my home. It's my. Uh, sometimes my kids say that it's my first home. Um, my two daughters uh, was uh, were uh, learning here. One of them still learns here, and it's really a home for me. Uh, it gave me new hope for teaching. Uh, I feel I, the school changed me. I, I found myself, it, it's, vi it's very big words, but it's, it's the truth that I, I can't be here what I am. I don't have to, to be somebody else. I don't have to wear a clothes that I want, like I'm in a, a fashion show and uh, I can be myself and I discovered myself here through the kids. Wow, it's a, it's a good question, <laughs> who I am. <laughs> uh, I can tell jokes and they understand me, they don't judge me. And it's, it's a, a lot not to be judged, not a, uh, not to think about every wor word you say and every move you do because you know that you will be excused if you're you, you can mistake you can do mistakes because people will forgive you uh, uh, what else I'm, I, I don't shout anymore <laughs> I was shouting all the time and I was very nervous and here I'm not nervous because I know that everybody will do what I, I what I ask. I just have to ask. Oops. <laughs> um, and I learned to trust people and to trust uh, young people. I learned that uh, young people they have they are very smart. They have their own opinion, they know what uh, good for them. It's a very uh, a, a very big learning for me to trust people, not to judge people. Yeah, that's that's my way, that's the way that I did from uh, the regular thinking that children doesn't want to learn, that school is a, is a, a, a horrible place for children, they must be free. And I know here now that, uh, that people can be free at school and they love learning and it's uh, only a matter to, to trust them that they know what they want and what they like and uh, I didn't m meet one kid that didn't want to learn. It depends on what to learn but everybody wants to learn. And uh, now when I talk to another pupils from different schools I know that I'm talking to them in a different language, language that they understand and uh, I can talk to pupils, I can talk to young people without uh, being an adult. We have the same language. As I said, I was working in a regular school for 10, 10 years 
and I knew pupils that hate math, hate, hate coming to the school. And when I came here, I thought it will be the same. If people have to choose, who will choose math class? They will choose going to play outside. And I thought that after a week or two weeks, a ma manager will come to me uh, and say, okay, thank you very much, but we don't need you because nobody wants to learn math. And it wasn't the same. And I'm here 12 years after it. So uh, people are coming and they want to learn. And now we are four uh, math teachers, not only me, I was only one here. So people want to learn. And when they choose, they're doing it better because they're, you don't have to, to, um, to be a policeman in the class. You can teach. For me, it's a trust and a not to judge. It's the whole story. It's, it's the most important things to trust. To trust your staff members, to trust your um, principal, uh, to trust pupils, to trust parents. It's, uh, it's all about trust for me here. The happiest moments when people come to me and ask me to be their mentor. It's... I breathe in those moments. That's, those moments are uh, the greatest. Um, what I mean in, in for me to be coach or mentor for a student, for pupils, is uh, to help them to manage themselves and not that um, others or the life will manage them. Uh, and I want them to believe that what they want to do, they can achieve whatever they want to. Uh, that's my goal in life, I think, to teach young people that they can achieve whatever they want to. And I'm helping them. Uh, for example, uh, Noah that was here, she was with me in a, in an exchange group and it was a very, very difficult project. We didn't have money, uh, we didn't have acceptance from the uh, principal, and we did it. We were to Berlin, and Berliners were here, and it was a wonderful year, and our dream came true. So that's what I want them to learn through uh, through projects to know that dreams can come true. Yeah, but you have to work so the dreams will come true. It, it doesn't fall from the sky. You have to do a, a lot of work, but it, it can be. It can be done. Whoa, it's too big for me. <laughs> Trust your children. I think uh, we, le we teach here. Uh, parents learn here a lot because they learn to be parents as they want to be. Uh, they don't have to be friends of their children. They have to be. I think the parent has to be a, a mentor of his child. That's my with, with love. And that's what we do here. We teach parents, we teach uh, young people uh, to be themselves and to, to, to trust themselves. That's, that's, what can, that's what we do.